Leo, this is going to be your love reading for the second half of May. This is for my Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It does help out my channel. If you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. Um, there is a bit of a wait for a reading with me from time to time. So if you want to explore your options, I'd put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well, which is a great company that offers you access to lots of amazing psychics and readers located all over the world at any given time. So if you go through the link I provided, they're going to give you your first five minute reading free. And if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I've put the links to those in the description box as well. Now, Leo, I'm going to do person on your mind. How do they feel about you? Then how do you feel about them? Then the potential projected outcome for the second half of May. Bearing in mind, guys, I say potential for those of you that are new because I fuse into my readings the law of assumption. And that essentially means that everything that is happening right now in your current physical 3D circumstances is the reflection of your current state. And you are selecting a version of self and a version of specific person and situation out of infinite that are available right now. Creation is finished. Your desires are meant for you. You can have anything you want. Anything that's showing up that's undesirable can be shifted, tweaked, conformed. It all starts with you. So please do go and have a look into the law of assumption. Um, yeah, and some of the coaches I recommend, guys, Kimball Ayers, Dylan James, Sammy Ingram, they're all incredible. And I've also posted some content as well, so you can check it out on my channel. All right, guys, so person on Leo's mind, how do they feel about Leo? There's a six of swords in the reverse. So something about a return, maybe, Leo, if there's been a disconnect or you could be dealing with someone where there's been um, travel or distance, there's a return. Six of swords. Let me have a look. We've got ace of wands, six of swords in the upper eye. Okay, king of cups. Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, so there is emotion here. King of Cups, this person, there's love. Um, maybe they're feeling like you're disconnecting Six of Swords or there is an issue to do with distance, like you could be um, separated by water or something like that. But Six of Swords also would be about trying to move things in a better direction. Maybe they feel like you've been, you're moving away from them disconnecting from them in some kind of a way. I mean, the Ace of Wands means that there was passion, but the passion feels like it's dying or it's died in some kind of a way. There's losses here, Five of Cups. They're still moving. They feel like this is still moving, but there's a very slow mover. So you could have been connected to this person for some time, Leo. Let me have a look at this King of Cups. I mean, King of Cups in the upright. So this person feels a lot for you, but then there's a Queen of Swords. So Leo, some, for some of you, you know, there's a wanting to have an honest conversation. There seems to be something that's caused loss or regrets between the two of you. Um, and they want to move things in a better direction. Queen of Swords um, can be coldness. So something's maybe like we've gone from hot to cold, Queen of Swords, right, Leo? Um, some of you are dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's something about what you've built, like... Seven of Pentacles, there's a foundation that's been built, but it's in the reverse. So feeling like, okay, has it's it, it's a sadness here, right? Like what you've built, has it been lost kind of thing? So um, I feel like this person, it's like, you know, Knight of Pentacles, they're still, their intention, they still want to continue building. Like you might still be very much part of the future vision, but something has happened to create a loss of passion or... Um, Coldness. I mean, let me see. Why did the Five of Cups come out in the overall? It just feels Leo, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. There's this feeling and Six of Pentacles. A feeling of lack of reciprocity or lack of cooperation between the two of you. So you may be not seeing eye to eye on the direction forward. I feel even though, yeah, either this person feels you stopped investing or building with them. Um or something to do with them and, and, and they have regrets in not really cooperating and not, not getting on the same page with you in some kind of way. I mean, Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, there seems to be a focus on wanting to recreate reciprocity. Um, and they're still moving forward like Knight of Pentacles is long-term goals. Two of Pentacles here, a bit of back and forth energy. Now, lots of Pentacles. So Pentacles could be playing into this, guys. I mean, work and career. 
Um, there could be financial considerations here. Um, let me get, yeah, financial considerations, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I mean, Leo, either you were really like leading towards something very stable with this person and something has happened that's just like led to instability or loss of that, like no longer investing, a feeling of that anyway. Um, or there's been financial issues, right, that have like caused some, you know, coldness between the two of you. I mean, maybe there's a heavy focus on career and finance. Someone might be really struggling here, like with work-life balance or, um, you know, I mean, two of pentacles is also just about balance, equal give and take. Something has created a coldness and it's coming down to a lot to do with money, um, stability. We've got four of hearts. It's led to disappointment. There's also been maybe back and forth between the two of you. For those of you where there's like actual physical distance, that could also be why there might be this feeling of back and forth or um, for a cups, like something's triggered emotional rejection or disappointment. So either this person feels that what they're giving you, you don't feel, they don't feel like you're really taking it or reciprocating or you do or both of you, Leo. Now, I always say in all my videos, guys, I only read their side of the street for context. They're not a robot. They have their own feelings and thoughts and challenges and limitations, but circumstances don't matter. And once you change um, and affirm differently for the situation, the mirror must, must conform. So there is another version of the connection. And if you focus on the desires versus your assumptions based on the current circumstances and what's being mirrored to you, you're going to get a different result. You can get a different version of the connection. They still have love, even on this current timeline circumstances, the person loves you. Um, but there is this element of rejection. Um, and it just seems to be maybe that there's been issues with priorities. So either they feel like you have a lot going on and you're not prioritizing them or vice versa, or both of you, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, they want a new start, Leo, and they love you, okay, this is a conversation, and this is a, about a new love beginning, so I like that, the only thing that, the, the other Ace that's in the reverse, the third Ace, is the commitment thing, so you could have been in some kind of a commitment, and it's, there's been a, a, a bit of a disconnect, or a coldness, or um, there's a fear that you guys are not heading in that direction that you're not committing sorry there's two aces but they're in the reverse ace of wands ace of pentacles um there's been a loss of passion uh, and this could be due to financial drains um that are putting maybe a burden on the connection or creating a feeling of like the emotional side is not being reciprocated a little bit because someone's priorities are not you know someone feels not prioritized um but they they want to have a new start I think they want to recreate the love with you, Leo. I mean, there's been some kind of hermit card, a feeling of distance between the two of you. Um, this person could be feeling a bit lonely, Leo. If you've gone a bit cold, they're feeling the, feeling the coldness. I mean, Knight of Cups. So they want to romance you. I mean, there's not, a lot of nice cards here. Knight of Cups, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. The Temperance card is here. So there's been an element of patience in this situation um look for some of you two of pentacles ace of pentacles three of pentacles in the reverse i mean there's been issues here with finances two of pentacles could be responsibility financial responsibility when it comes to say outside people like some of you are dealing with a situation maybe this person still has responsibility like six of pentacles can be needing to support so that could be children you know like there could be an ex or, or children in the mix where there's still financial responsibility. And then that's why there's been a need for patience. Um, yeah, because I have a three of cups in the reverse, right? So the three of cups in the reverse, that can be love triangles, guys. It doesn't have to be. I'm not really picking up a cheating vibe or anything like that. Um, in, if it is the case for some of you where there's like, there is a love triangle, I'm getting more so that, it's not like about love. It could be about financial responsibility. There could be a third party that's still around. Um, and that's caused this sense of timing, timing, patience, and um, financial responsibility, support, all of that kind of stuff. 
Now guys, you can manifest away third parties and all of that anyway, so go and look at the coaches that I recommended. This is one version of the connection. I don't believe in divine timing either, if that's what the story is. Because the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance card, this seems to be a slow goer, okay? That's creating disappointment and frustration potentially or loss of passion, um, you know? So I think here, you know, the Three of Cups in the reverse, this can be like a love triangle or it could be an unhealthy third party in the mix. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, Seven of Swords in the reverse. This is like a court called out or caught out kind of an energy. So for some of you, whether it's founded or unfounded, there has been maybe a disappointment or a disagreement because there's a sense of an outside energy that could be meddling. In some cases for you guys, this is that this situation involves dishonesty or cheating. And guys, please don't take the story if it's not your story. Um, but this could also just be like that there's, there's been a coldness between the two of you because something has been called out or the disappointment has been called out because there's a sense of two of pentacles not being a priority. Um, two of pentacles can be juggling options, but not all of you guys. I'm really getting more so that this is trust issues maybe coming down to not feeling prioritized. And I think the not being prioritized is because of financial matters or something like that. Like something might need to be tied up and it's taking time. You know, Leo, I mean, let me get your side of the street. Hanged man, something just seems to be taking time. But all things exist at once, guys. So if you want things to be different, you can go away and have a look at shifting into the state of having that which you want and selecting a new version of situation. Um, and the coaches will show you how to do that. How do you feel about this person, Leo? How do you feel about this person? I mean, for some of you, the Three of Cups in the reverse and the Seven of Swords in the reverse, this could be called out when it comes to like partying or, um, you know, friends. So there's something here just about not feeling prioritized or chosen maybe, right? Um, but this person, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, they want a new start. There's regrets around anything that's caused disappointment. How do you feel about this person? Leo, as we move into the second half of May. We've got Sagittarius energy, Virgo energy, guys. I forget to call out the um, signs often, sorry. Magician card, Page of Cups, Five of Cups. You both have Five of Cups, Leo. So mutual loss, regrets. There's a Page of Cups, so there's a sense of, of wanting to take things like this would be a new path. Um, or make a love offer, or you want them to make a love offer to you, right? Maybe that's what you're manifesting, Leo. Magician card. Um, you're both kind of crying over spilt milk with the five, cup, five of cups. Maybe you're both trying to get over some disappointments also from the past, separate to each other. Um, but, you know, page of cups also, there could be children in the mix. Maybe this is why there's like this financial stuff coming through. Um, Eight of Swords, you feel like a little bit trapped in the mind about this. How do you feel? Or you feel that this person, Leo, is trapped in something and that's why maybe you're trying to manifest it and it's taking a long time. I don't know, but there's something Eight of Swords. You know, Eight of Swords is also our own limiting beliefs. So Leo, again, if you're trying to manifest this and, and, and you're feeling like this is taking a long time or if there's complications... Again, that's a mindset thing, guys. Everything, your thoughts are creating your reality. You can have this different, but yeah, there's five of cups, eight of swords, trapped in the mind. Um, maybe there's a feeling like this isn't going to work out for you, even though you're manifesting it, you seem to want it. You both have ace of wands in the reverse from a different deck, Leo. You, you both feel like there's been a loss of passion, and two of wands, you're at a crossroads. You're not sure. Maybe there's something about needing to make a decision on the way forward and it's taking a long time. Why is this taking so long? Or, or someone needs to make a decision. I mean, there's nine of swords, which is stress and anxiety on the direction forward. But then there's ace of swords and the ten of cups, Leo. So that you both have ace of swords. So there's opportunity now in May to have a conversation, to let go of any disappointment, 
to get on the same page about the future. Ten of Cups, family, happily ever after kind of energy. For some of you, yes, there's been a, a stalemate or crossroads um, because someone or both of you is, is tied some way to like family. Now, if children or like family responsibility, extended family, there's something here about support, money, finances, um, you know, but also this could be, Leo, like we only need to focus on you anyway if we want things to shift. But if you feel like this person isn't reciprocating, for example, like you're not getting the return on what you're giving, you can shift that, right? Like you can have that person pour more into you, prioritize you, etc. But Eight of Swords is our mindset. It's our limiting belief. So there's part of you maybe um, you have a belief about self that you don't receive the love that you give, that you don't get the return and you can absolutely change that, change the story of self and then make a new assumption, select a version of the person. They will mirror back to you. They must. You're the God of your reality. So everyone's going to show up according to how you see yourself, what you assume about yourself in relation to people you love and therefore also what you're assuming about this person. You have a history with this person or things have caused disappointment. So you have to deny the circumstances guys and this is the trick so and then select new version of self without a, a belief that you don't get what you receive okay and then select the version that already exists in the quantum field that is pouring back into you where you have exactly what you want i mean the truth of the matter is this person does love you leo ace of cups ace of swords and they want a new start with you okay so tell me about that ace of swords you've got anxiety though with the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Something about this is triggering your insecurities in some kind of a way, Leo. Four of Pentacles, you don't know whether to hold on or let go. And again, I think that's like you're trying to manifest it, but on the other hand, you're not sure like because it just feels very Two of Wands. What's the plan? Or someone here needs to make some kind of a decision on the way forward for the future. But then you've got Nine of Cups, so there's a lot of pleasure. You want to go from the nine to the 10. So if you feel this person stalling and they're not ready and it's divine timing, well, that's also a belief and a story, guys. So when you look at the coaches, they'll explain to you, let go of old story. All that matters is the state that you're embodying and your assumptions and you selecting like the version of the connection that you want. Um, so you can affirm differently. But yeah, something about this being a wish for you um, but yeah, there seems to be four of pentacles in the reverse insecurities. And then we've got the Empress card. Okay. I mean, and then the seven of pentacles. So there's been a lot of waiting to see how things play out. Some of you, you are dealing with a situation that does involve outside, like, like children. This could be a mother figure. Um, and so feeling kind of someone's quite trapped in that situation, like, financially or something like that um or otherwise you know this is waiting to see how things play out you've been waiting this person like i said they have the seven of pentacles but it's in the reverse there's this sense of feeling like the other one is not invested anymore um there's a foundation built but it's like it hasn't reached the full potential the Empress card is opportunity to nurture and grow the situation. And there is love and there is this sense of wish fulfillment, page of swords. You might feel like this person analyzes you, watches you, watches you online, or you may do the same in between talking, Leo. Um, yeah, Ace of Swords. I, look, there's, there's a truth and a clarity and opportunity to get on the same page, I think. Look, we've got Nine of Wands but it's in the reverse. So something's caused a bit of a wound between the two of you or a block or, or a wall. And I think it's around like either you feel this person, what they're offering you is small or vice versa, maybe because of your own fears and limiting beliefs. If you want this person to come in and pour the shit into you, Leo, like I said, you don't need to chase anything. It's just what are your assumptions, okay? Um, but the page of pentacles, there seems to be this lot of waiting and you're trying to manifest it. And there's like, you know, complications, family or financial or otherwise. But anyway, there's a wanting to take things in a new direction. Page of wands. Um, 
And it's like maybe you've been waiting on this offer and the offer's not coming through because Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. And yeah, you're at a crossroads on it. You're at a crossroads. I mean, Leo, for some of you, you need to make a decision, right? Because you're still tied to something and I'm not judging anything. Like this is just what it is, right? Um, but make a decision what you want. This person, love, they want a new start with you. You both have Ace of Swords. There's a truth, a conversation, a clarity. And so do what you will with that, Leo. I mean, conversation can go any way that you want. Once you make a decision, once you make a decision what you want, guys, and know that you have it because you wouldn't have a desire if it didn't already exist in the quantum, creation is finished. You're already on that timeline. So in spite of whatever the current physical reality circumstances look like, everything is moving in the direction of your desires anyway and you are thinking from that place and assuming okay so look into the law and it'll make sense double life in another relationship some of you that's the case or maybe that's how it's been how it was when you came together because it looks like temperance card knight of pentacles you've been connected to this person for a long time leo um how does this person feel or what are they coming in with in may second half of may thinking of you missing you crying nostalgia what else okay there's been fed up cutting ties walking away push pull power struggles imbalance stubborn conflict resolution Com compromising making amends positive outcome what did i say there's been a coldness Okay, there is trust issues, guys. I did pick that up before, but there's regrets on, on, you've both got five of cups. There's planning, text, phone call, meeting up. Then we've got 1111. I don't like labels, guys. I'm, I'm not gonna go into what I think about twin flames whilst I do believe in divine counterparts and twin flames. Um, you don't need to go down that whole rabbit hole. Everyone is a mirror for the reasons I've already explained. They're a reflection of whatever state you're in and you can have anyone you want. You don't need to give labels, but this does say twin flame, run a chase, a divine timing. Now you are maybe on a timeline right now where you have the belief everything happens in divine timing. This is gonna take time. Well, you've selected version of connection and circumstances that are that. I don't care who doesn't agree with me or does. When you look at the law, it will make sense to you. You're on the divine timing track. So this is that sort of yearning and this is going to take time, etc. So it's up to you what you want to do with it. There is a, a wanting to talk and we had ace of swords on both sides. Text, phone call, meeting up. Okay, Leo. So, you know, there has been, I think, a cutting ties or a coldness. But then there's conflict resolution. It's also possible someone has cut, had to cut ties with someone else like financially or whatever, um, you, them, both of you, something like that. But then there's conflict resolution. And so I think, you know, that phone call, meet up, text, you decide what you want, Leo, and affirm from that plate, shift your state. Third parties and circumstances and all that is just one version of a connection, even the divine timing. Whatever you believe, which is part of the state that you're embodying, is what is appearing on the outside in your current 3D reality. Okay, Leo, I hope that that resonated for you guys and was helpful. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.